Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene and today I'll show you a tin planter makeover. I bought this oval metal planter at a local Dollar Tree and I've decided to decorate it with stenciling. First, I'm fixing the stencil on the planter's side with masking tape. Then I'm applying a thin layer of acrylic wood filler on the stencil with a palette knife. Here I've tried to make the layer as even as possible. By the way, this stencil is from AliExpress, I'll leave the link for similar options in the description box as usual. After that, I'm removing the stencil while the wood filler is still wet and leaving the raised pattern to dry well. After drying, I'm sanding the stenciling slightly to remove sharp edges, if any, and then I'm priming the entire planter with a bonding primer. After the primer has dried, I'm painting the planter light blue. I'm giving it two layers for a good coverage. I'm using acrylic paint and you can use chalk paint as well, then you won't need a primer. Next, I'm painting the upper edge of the planter black using a sponge, imitating the edging on enamel coating. I'm also making several black spots on the bottom, as if the enamel has spilled off here. Then I'm dry brushing the surface cream to make the raised pattern stand out a little. And finally I'm sealing the planter with clear wax. These planters have a nice shape, but the painting is not so nice. You can also make over a round bucket or even a loaf pan, which Dollar Tree stores also have, and you can actually make a whole set of tin buckets and planters like this in the same color. Well, I hope you liked this makeover. Actually, you can make over any vase or a tin can planter like this. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!